Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Love has no obligations or expectations. When you love, whatever you do is because you want to do it. It becomes a pleasure. It's like a game and you have fun with it. When you love, you don't expect something to happen. Whatever happens is okay and you have, and hardly anything disappoints you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 80, NASDAQ off 38, S&P's off 10, gold contract down $13.80 trading at 1,363 an ounce. Silver off 23 cents at $22.22 .22 a ounce. Platinum up four bucks at one thousand four sixty seven an ounce. Copper up two pennies at three thirty six a pound. Light sweet crude down a buck ninety nine at eight ninety four twenty one. Bonds down a point and a half at one forty two twenty four. King dollar up three hundred and sixty ticks at eighty four thirty one. The euro down forty nine at one twenty eight fifty eight, and the yen up forty two trading out at one o two ninety one. My phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, can you say a blow-off top? Because that's what you had out here, folks. It's going to be really interesting to watch how this whole thing shakes and bakes. So, what do we have out here today? You're talking about a spike higher. We got to a price point of 1687 on the S&P. We closed at 1654. You know, you're talking 33 points. You're talking monster bread here. And the way we did it, and this is why it's a blow off, folks. This is how it goes. The, the acceleration up, people bought into it. And then they bought into it. When Bernanke came on, they bought into it quick. 10 o'clock in the morning, saying, hey, guess what? Markets are never going to go down, ever. They're never going to go down again. No doubt about it. Ba boom. Guess what? That lasted 10 minutes. First acceleration down was vicious. It came down. And make a long story short, you know, as how markets go up versus how they get down, well, guess what? S&P gave back six days and six hours. You know, we were talking about, you know, just the, the small price spreads even for the last few days. But bottom line, what do you have now? Okay, so first acceleration down 14 bucks, which is not a huge amount, by the way, okay? What is a huge amount is... Typically, what happens in a blow-off is that the acceleration up, meaning that the buy that came in this morning, and that's why you saw so much selling at the end of the day, what that was was basically, you know, prop trading shops, all, all of the above. They bought the deal. They were hoping it comes back. It doesn't come back. The acceleration down into the close, it gets sold more. Okay, so S&Ps right now, we're at 16.54. We did $800 million out there. Uh, bottom line is that the next level, um, it, we'll see how it moves into it is is uh, 1633 not not a huge amount but we'll see what kind of follow through you get through you, you get in this dow industrials what the dow did same setup in the dow dow gets up the dow was up over 150 points it closed down 80 points um dow gave back three days not the end of the world inside the uh, dow out here what you had putting pressure on it on the way down was cisco dupont united technologies and merck putting some juice into it well, it was Pfizer, Home Depot, um, J.P. Morgan Chase, and GE. Home Depot, folks, uh, and the housing in general got some big juice underneath it. Uh, the, the bottom, uh, the, line, the numbers came out in Toll House, uh, Toll Brothers today, monster numbers. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, bottom line is that uh, housing is not only back, it's screaming. Gold contract. Now, this was a deviant. Oh, man, let me tell you something. You know, I'm telling you, this gold, folks, gold has to prove itself. Um, a lot of people lost a lot of money out here today, and this is what it was. So check this. This is amazing, actually. The gold contract went to $1,413. Huge expansion up. Huge, okay? And that expansion up, you know, we only got to ICE, okay? The 1404s is the number. Gets the 1413. Acceleration up fast. Ten minutes later, acceleration downtown, faster. Now what you have is this. We did 305,000 contracts. Now what you're doing is you're pushing into the swing low from Monday with accelerated volume. What that says, we're going after that low. 
1321 is game now. And it's Wednesday, coming to Thursday and Friday. I don't like what it looks like. I don't like what it looks like because we're coming into a Friday again. If we go over we take a look at the uh, GLD, it's the, the setup is even worse. The setup there, the GLD right now is at 13194. We did 25 million shares. Um, the last get-go on the way down only had 21 million shares. That's problematic. So that's saying the GLD is going to go after this 13051 area. Uh, that's the way that that baby uh, is set up. Now, let's go to King Dollar. King Dollar, folks, is on a tear. King Dollar today, you talk about, I, I don't believe we've done 70,000 contracts yet. So check this out. We did 70,000 contracts in the dollar index today. We got down... And we're going into a swing point of 84.51. That's 84.51. That swing, that high, had 47,000. 85.50 is the first ABC structure. This thing's going to 88. You know, the larger ABC structure is going to be in play. Let me give you the larger, the number for the larger one. The larger one, folks, started in August of 2011. And that number is, oh, man, we got that number today. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. It's an ABC up. We took the number out today. The number, okay, so check this out. And 85.50 is the ABC up. But the number to take out the larger B point was 84.24 on the continuous contract, okay? And... We are at 84.32. Bottom line, we're at that with 70,000 contracts. This thing's going to scream. 88's on the agenda. King dollar. Now, let's go to uh, Dave in Clearwater. We'll go through the bond market. Hey, what's going on, man? Fasten your seatbelt, friend. It has been quite a ride today. It has, man. I love these days. <laughs> i got to tell you, Tom, I have to admit, man, I was thinking about you a little bit today because... I'm not sure how to interpret this because, real quick, like, I believe that the QE has fueled a low volume rise for, for quite some time. I know you kind of slightly disagree with me on that, but that's well, no, kind of no, my I, I, I don't disagree in the, in the context that, it, that it's done it. I, I disagree in the context that it's different. I mean, there was no QE in 2006 and seven, and we had a low volume rise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, true enough. True yeah. enough. True enough. So here, let me let me hit you with this, Tom. Tell me what you think. On the one hand. Ben Bernanke makes comments, leads people to conclude that we might be getting towards the end of, of the quantitative easing program that the Federal Reserve has been on since the crash. So, theoretically, technically speaking, Federal Reserve is buying less bonds. That would be bearish for bonds. However, it's also bearish for stocks, knowing that bonds and stocks tend to work inversely to each other. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are that if the... The bond market goes up, it'll be bad for everything. <laughs> There's no doubt. That's, that's my thought. I mean, I'll tell you, even in the real estate fund right now, we're selling units to make sure that we are in profits because every year I want to be at a profit versus waiting that, you know, that the interest rates are going to stay low forever. I'm not, you know, my head, my, my, my take is that, yeah, interest rates are going to, but guess what? You know, you can think one thing, but the bond market is that important. Now, uh, let's bisect and dissect the bond market, because it's really cool what happened out here today, folks. Now, now this is where deviance comes in beyond belief, too. So bonds got smoked, and they got smoked with 815,000 contracts, okay? So what do you have? Well, what we have is this. The low of today has to get tested. That's the first thing. But I expect you're going to probably get it tested tomorrow, next day, and It'll be on lighter volume because we, what we, what we certainly did here. You can make a case actually that we're going to go to the. Let's see, yeah, I can make a case that we can go to the lows here. So, one forty-seven ten. That's three bucks. No, it's four bucks. One forty-seven. That's four bucks. That's interesting. Yeah, one forty-one. See, there's an intraday. With, this really took out a B point of an ABC structure on the way down today. So bonds can go to one forty-one. Uh, this now that that's that's on a price projection basis, folks. Um, on you know if if you look at this, if it rejects it tomorrow, this symbol right here is really a last engulfing. But you know I suspect it's going to try to get a little bit lower. That was my thought. It was the last engulfing, but the volume was so over the top. That that's right. Like... Now you stay right there. That, that absolutely, man. And the bond market's going to be the bond market, folks. For all of us is crucial. You know, so that's exactly what we're going to talk about when we come back. 
We had the Dow Industrials uh, closed down 80, Nasdaq off 38, S&P's off 10. You stay right there, folks. Come right back.